Hello, I'm Timberly K. Simmons, and you're watching my official video leadership portfolio. The first part of this video summarizes what I did for my leadership portfolio assignments in each of my courses at Full Sail University. The second part of this video is an analysis of six different leadership activities and initiatives that I've achieved thus far in my career. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go. My first course at Full Sail University was called Executive Leadership. My assignment was to join and develop new relationships within an organization, so I joined ASCAP as a songwriter. I attended several workshops including I Create Music and ASCAP's writing sessions with Jive Records A&R consultant Kevin Schott. At first I was shy and didn't even introduce myself to him. However, later on, a sorority sister of mine, Moo Legend, CEO of Urban Female Entertainment, was able to personally introduce me to him at a video shoot. Wow, it's Kevin Shine, I thought. The Kevin Shine. Mr. Shine agreed to a Music Mill magazine feature. He appeared on the front cover of the October 2009 issue of Music Mill magazine. Here's a short clip of my one-on-one -on -one interview with Kevin Shine. Why don't you do me a favor and tell everybody out there about the major role you actually play in the music industry? Um, well, right now, um, you know, I, I wear maybe, I guess you would say three, three caps. Um, the first one is uh, I manage a songwriting team called Galaxy. Um, they're pretty hot, you know, up and coming songwriting team, but they have actually uh, just got their first placement. Uh, with uh, a group called Crave. Uh, also, outside of that, I also do um, also do a and all consulting work for Jive Records. I work with the senior vice president over there, Wayne Williams. Um, um, we definitely we have worked on the R. Kelly album, which is coming out. It's not called Untitled. And we actually worked on, you know, the uh, Raheem Devine project. And we have an artist in Kentrell presently pursuing an artist right now named Jacob Lattimore is 13 years old that we're really excited about. We're trying to bring him on board. And then the last uh, thing I do is I run a company called The Firm. Um, with The Firm, we actually do programs and different ventures that help me and assist me in my a and ventures. But at the same time, uh, it helps me do something that I love to do, which is educate people about the business. I just want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to interview you, get to know you better and everything, and for being on the front cover of the October issue. And um, Yeah, big shout out. Big shout out to you, Tim Lee, and, and, and big shout out to MusicMailMagazine.com. Everything is, you know, I really appreciate the opportunity to uh, be a part of what you're trying to do um, and, what, and, and, and delivering that message, definitely. Well, as you can see, I was able to form a relationship with this top executive while building my business portfolio. I learned a lot from this experience. I learned how the 48 laws of power are used in large and small organizations such as ASCAP and Kevin Shine's company, The Firm. In developing this new relationship with ASCAP and Kevin Shine, I was able to further develop my leadership skills and learn additional tricks of the trade from those who are far more experienced in the entertainment business industry. My second course at Full Sail University was project management. I had to work on an actual team. I'll say this much, the team project management course has actually helped me mold my interpersonal skills with my team members and with people in general. I've learned how to manage friends on a professional level, and this project alone has fully prepared me to be able to work on any team as a leader or a follower. So therefore, I'm grateful to have made it through this project management course and would recommend it to anyone in the entertainment industry. My third course at Full Sail University was business storytelling and brand development. I had to actually create a brand analysis for the Music Mill brand. I learned about archetypes, how to follow the immutable laws of branding, creating logos, mottos, and more. My fourth course at Full Sail was Entertainment Business Finance. This assignment was a summary of a face-to-face -face interview with Joetta Bellinger, Assistant Vice President and Retail Sales Manager of First Citizens Bank in Somerville, South Carolina. The assignment was to meet with an investor or a company representative and discuss several key topics that would provide insight on seeking funding for a company startup. 
This assignment has provided me with extremely relevant information that will assist me in the financial development of a company's assets. I have definitely been provided with vital financial education. My next course was Global Entertainment Business Strategy. The video series viewed for this assignment pertains to ways to build a successful independent record label such as Simmons Music Group. This series of videos included topics such as how musicians can sell more CDs, internet marketing for musicians made easy, how to get your music played in film and TV, and how and where to perform live as an independent musician. I will definitely consider using most, if not all, of the lessons learned from this educational video series. Next course, Negotiation and Deal Making. For this assignment, I had to actually negotiate a real deal. So I made an offer to AccountNow prepaid debit card who finally agreed to use my video to promote an online video contest that is soon to launch once the final editing is complete. AccountNow paid me $200 for the use and the rights of my music video. So chances are I can honestly say that for the most part, the negotiation went my way. Thanks to the techniques that I learned in this class, I have finally made my first successful live negotiation. Here, check out a clip of the music video that I sent to them. So what you waiting for? Come and sign up today. Come get your account now. Call so you can pay your bills online. Go wide and die. My next course was Advanced Entertainment Law. I wrote an elaborative paper on James Elam, who was an entertainment lawyer that started his career back in 1997. He began practicing at Dilworth Paxton Law Firm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He started off working as an associate with the firm, but after a year, he was promoted to the Corporate Transactional Department. And this is where it all started. After careful analysis of Mr. Elam's online interviews, his former and current presence in the industry, and his free expert advice, I have learned the importance of having an entertainment lawyer on standby at all times. The next course I took was Entertainment, Media, Publishing, and Distribution. For this leadership portfolio assignment, I interviewed DJ Anonymous. He's the CEO, producer, artist manager for One in a Million Records in Atlanta, Georgia. We discussed DJ Anonymous's background, his personality, industry insight for upcomers, and more. He actually allowed me to publish this interview in my online magazine. My analysis of the information that I acquired is that it takes more than skill and education to be in the recording industry. It also takes hard work, great personality, and determination. I really enjoy getting to know DJ Anonymous, for we have now formed an alliance after discussing my personal career goals and aspirations. I actually learned quite a lot about music distribution and the industry as a whole from this interview experience. The next course I took was Digital Internet Marketing. This course was actually a phenomenal course to take. I actually learned the significance of placing keywords and key phrases with your company. I also learned the importance of search engine optimization and how to get your website to the top of the search engines. Mobile Marketing and Commerce Online. Wow, I love this course. I actually had to do a survey for this leadership portfolio assignment. I performed a survey about mobile services. I found out that overall, my survey participants like their current mobile service plans and the service that their carrier provides. Three of the subjects that I used would hope that their mobile providers would include more features such as text messaging in their current monthly plans. This, my friend, will be great for mobile marketing. So what did I learn from this assignment? I learned how to effectively and efficiently run surveys to collect needed data for future projects. Wow, I finally made it to the end. My final course, Business Plan Development. 
My experience during the development of my business plan was quite challenging, yet electrifying. Chances are, I had to face several challenges during this four-week journey. There were school challenges along with life's unexpected challenges. However, I am thankful for the positive and the negative challenges, for they have made me a stronger person and a more educated businesswoman. I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to take all of the curriculum courses for they have prepared me for this progression. In conclusion, I would like to stress that my personal grade for the EBMS curriculum is five stars. All of the courses have molded me into a stronger and wiser entertainment businesswoman. I've actually learned how to market my production company, my digital magazine, and how to find funding for them. Since I received a great education from Fosa University, I can assure you that Music Mill Mass Productions LLC will be successful at accomplishing all of our endeavors.